Let's factor using difference of squares. The formula to memorize is x squared minus y squared equals bracket x plus y bracket x minus y. For example, if we have the question factor a squared minus b squared, can you do it? Looking at the pattern here, you would write your two brackets what times what is a squared? You can take the square root of a squared, which becomes a times a is a squared. And then I recommend that you follow this pattern. Write the plus sign and the minus sign without thinking too much. And then now ask the question, what times what becomes b squared? The answer is the square root of b squared is b. Now we can actually prove this formula and verify it. Why does this formula work? Let's use FOIL. When you multiply the first, the letter F here, we get x squared. When you multiply the outside, x times y, x times negative y becomes negative xy. When you multiply the inside, positive y times positive x becomes positive yx, which is the same thing as positive xy. And the letter L, last, positive y times negative y. A positive times a negative number becomes negative, and y times y becomes y squared. Can you see what happens to the middle terms here? The negative xy and the positive xy cancel out. So we end up with this here foiled out becomes x squared minus y squared, which is which makes this equal sign true. So it's not a far stretch to take for granted that x squared minus y squared equals bracket x plus y bracket x minus y. Now I want to show you a common error and a a very cruel trick. If I asked you to factor b squared plus c squared, you may be tempted to write there are two brackets here and b plus c, b minus c, but this is not equal. This here is a plus sign and it doesn't quite work out. It has to be a minus sign for us to be able to do this. So if this was b squared minus c squared, this would equal, so do our brackets first, what times what is b? b times b is b squared. And you go plus minus, what times what is c squared? It's c here, so this is correct. Great job, let's try a little harder question. So using difference of squares, let's try factoring something like this. 4x squared minus 9. Can we factor this? The first question we always ask is, can we pull out a GCF? Is there some greatest common factor that we can pull out? And when you look at the numbers, no. So we can't. But we will try using difference of squares because we recognize that this term here terms are separated by plus or minus signs. You can indeed take the square root of this, and you can indeed take the square root of this, which results in a very clean, nice answer. So let's try. We're gonna write our two brackets here. What times what becomes 4x squared? Let's try 2x times 2x. Indeed, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Two times two is four x times x is x squared. Now using difference of squares, we always write plus minus. The common mistake is to write plus plus or minus minus. And what times what becomes nine? Three times three becomes nine. This is great, we successfully factored this harder question.